There are 22 trinkets in Grounded and this video is going to show you how to get them, what they do and which ones you should use. Not just that, game progression cheat sheets like the one you are seeing will be updated and an exclusive cheat sheet for the trinkets is coming your way in the next few days. You can download them for free in the Spy Discord. The link to join it is in the description of this video. I divided the trinkets into two categories. Number one, drops. To get these 10 trinkets, you need to collect or kill something. There is no limit to how many you can get, but the drop rates usually are super low. Number two, unique. Getting these 12 trinkets is super easy. You just need to find where they are. I'm gonna do that for you. But they are one of a kind, meaning you can't craft them or if you lose them, there's no way to get them back. While playing, you shouldn't worry about drop trinkets until you complete the story quests. If you get them, great. If you don't, there's always alternatives for everything. Fluffy Dandelion Tough has higher durability than the normal Dandelion Tough, a small benefit for a trinket. Find it by collecting Dandelion Tufts. Everlasting Hog Stopper makes you less hungry. Find it by collecting fresh Billy Hog Bites. If you find it early in the game, it's a good accessory, but not essential. Data mined information about all trinkets will be on the trinket cheat sheet. If you trust them, use them to make your decisions. Fungal Charm Reduce damage taken by explosions. Find it by collecting fungal growth from haze fungus. A great trinket to use against infected wall spiders. Suspicious Ice Cap Hot Chalk Charm Shiny Salt Crystal and Wanderer's Wormhole are trinkets that increase the melee attack damage of their corresponding candy. It works regardless of the weapon that you are using. For example, if you are using the Salt Morning Star with a Hot Chat Charm, you will inflict salt damage with your weapon plus spicy damage because of the trinket. Find them by collecting mint charts, spicy charts, salt charts or sour lumps. These trinkets are great items to kill bigger bugs during mid-game. Insulating Larva Spike gives you sizzle protection. Find it by killing ladybird larvas. The drop rate is super generous. I cleared the ladybird larva cave and got four of them. Brood Mother Trinket gives your summon creatures like the spiderlings from the mum genes mutations poison attack. Find it by killing the Broodmother and you got to be lucky to get it. Mantis Trinket. Critical hits will restore stamina. Find it by killing the Mantis and again, you gotta be super lucky to get it. Now let's go through all the unique trinkets in the same order as the story quest's progression. Rottenberry Charm. If you follow my guide on how to get the Pinch Wrecker, this is the first trinket you're gonna find. It gives rotten weapons a chance to poison surrounding enemies with an AoE attack. The damage is really good, but rotten weapons don't have a place in the game if you choose to use the Pinch Wrecker in the early game. Compliance Badge, you will find it right over here in this location. It will heal you a little bit when you perfect block, but damage taken will increase. If you are a good perfect blocker and combine this badge with the Ladybug armor set, it is a good setup. If you are not good at perfect blocking, don't use it. Toxicology Badge. It will reduce the damage you take from gas and make you immune to dust effect, but you will take more damage from poison. 
This badge can help you kill your first stink bug, even though there are easier ways to get the parts you need from stink bugs. I prefer to have a free slot than to carry this item around. You will find it close to this breaker. Get it when turning it on. Defense Badge. Pick up this badge inside the Haze Lab, in the same place where multiple infected weevils charges against you. It will increase your damage resistance and decrease your attack damage. A good badge for players that want to play a more tanky role. Biomedical Badge. Dig right over here to find this badge. When equipped, it will heal you and make you hungrier a little bit. I prefer to have a free slot than to carry this item around. Left Elf Charm. When you dive down to the outpost lab to open the stump lab door, don't forget to pick up this trinket. It is a really cool trinket to repair your shields. When equipped, every block you make has a chance to repair the shield you are using. Entomologist Badge. Equip some Sizzle Protection to get this one. It will increase your damage attack and reduce the perfect block window, making it impossible to execute. Intern Badge. At the same place you get the 5 Milk Molars, you will find this badge. A must-have when building things with grass planks and weed stems. It increases your capacity to carry by 10 and decreases your movement speech, but it is still worth it. Doors Pendant, the best trinket in the game will require a bit of parkour, but you got to get this one as soon as you arrive in the upper yard. It will upgrade almost all your stats. Don't miss this one. Power Droplet. This one is really hidden, requires a bit of parkour and is not that useful if you are not planning to punch insects. It increases the unarmed damage attacks and has a chance to proc Fury. Fury adds more damage to your attack and if you have a weapon mutation active, it also has a chance to proc the benefit of that mutation. For example, if you have Barbarian activated, 
punches can proc his effect. Right Elf Charm. Pick up this badge inside the stump lab. It is easy to miss this one, so be sure to open the chest. It is a really cool badge to repair your weapons. When equipped, every attack you make has a chance to repair the weapon you are using. Last but not least, Sarah's Charm. This is the only trinket you can craft. To craft it, you need the right elf charm, the left elf charm, two pawn moss, and ten tough gunk. Putting together the two parts of the elf charm will give you the two benefits when equipping it, shield and weapons repair. But remember, that by crafting Sarah's charm, you will consume the right and left elf's charm. If you have any questions about trinkets, comment below or chat with me on the Spy Discord server. This guide will always be updated when relevant changes are made to the game. The cheat sheets that follow this video guide will soon be uploaded to the Discord server. You can download them for free. The link to the Spy Discord is in the description of this video. YouTube channel members will have the cheat sheets 24 hours earlier. You can become a member for less than 2 bucks. And if you wanna always play grounded with a well thought and updated setup, subscribe to the channel. It's okay, I'll let you spy on me.